you know, not, not a long period, Aquila's really positioned itself as a leading power cat brand in the world. And how we've got there um, has been through a lot of innovation and new models. And today we're established in over 22 countries. We actually show up as far as one of the leading catamarans in market shares all over the world now. Right now today we're from 32 foot and we'll be soon announcing our uh, 70 footer. And uh, so we're really covering a lot, uh, you know, large part of the market and exciting times for Aquila. Aquila 70 was really a great project to be involved with and sort of where we started from was really, you know, you've got to firstly have a factory big enough to build a 70 footer and the beam of a power cat is pretty significant in terms of normal boat building. So you need very, you know, a decent factory, a decent size factory, decent launch facilities of that to go. The uh, Sinai Eagle Yard has uh, developed factories large enough for this now. The innovation on the Aquila 70 really started with uh, a significant amount of customer feedback from around the world. And uh, that's really where we started from was, you know, why we're uh, typical yacht monohull owners may consider, may not consider a power cat, and we really nailed that down. Um, what were the items that uh, folks moving into this category were looking for, and really the uh, big things that we came back with was, um, and, and very strong feedback, was that the, a power cat needs to look more like a yacht, not like a box, which a lot of catamarans do have a sort of a boxy look, which is some folks like, but uh, it seemed like uh, power cats were not being considered because of the aesthetics. And then secondly was performance. Very strong feedback on performance that power cats typically are not decent performing boats when it comes to speed. So those are really the two main drivers that drove the Aquila 70 and with that we've come up with a lot of innovations on that. You're just going to have this incredible open feeling. We've really focused on um, sort of more of a yacht type feeling for the American market. Of Obviously the galley is up um, so the entertaining is much more around the galley, the salon, real comfortable seating, proper dining table so that you can actually entertain around the dining table inside and in the cockpit. So yeah, it's going to be this really open feeling. The Aquila is, this, you know, it's got very specific DNA, and uh, I, I can run through a few of them. And, and the one thing that we've got very strong feedback, which is really liked by all of our owners, is the forward access from the flybridge forward. That is really a super important feature. Um, easy accessibility around the boat. I think one of the big things that Aquila focus on is balance of space around the boat. The flybridge has been an interesting concept on the boat for us and we've actually, you can purchase the boat with a normal open flybridge or with a fully enclosed flybridge. To really be able to enclose it and really have a great air conditioned area, you really need to be able to do it properly. And this we can, we, we've designed the boat that you can have either or. The layout as far as the staterooms are concerned, we can go from six cabin plus some crew berths up in the small crew cabins up in the four peaks, all the way down to really luxurious three cabin plus a skipper's, nice skipper's cabin, plus a pantry, separated pantry washroom um, for your washer dryer and that, which is really a cool feature. But as far as the main cabin, you know, very large cabin forwards, which goes across the bridge deck. So 27 foot wide boat, you have a 27 foot wide cabin. Um, so that's really the master cabin. And then you have the two midship side cabins, which are just gorgeous cabins as well. Huge windows looking out over from your bed, really comfortable um, showers, toilets, etc. So, and then of course for the more Asian markets um, or European markets where they would want the galley down below, we give up some space of the stateroom. Um, and then of course the salon just opens up a whole new world of space for entertainment and, and luxurious seating. So we started off by, we've incorporated the bulb, basically gives you a lot of waterline length, but what it also does is um, reduces the pitching moment of a boat so that you actually have a much more comfortable ride. What we've also done is uh, have decent bridge deck clearance. We also did CFD analysis, which is computer fluid dynamics. 
around the propeller, the shaft, and we've come up with a really innovative way of how do we reduce the drag in that area, which is specifically a high drag area on boats. Um, so we've got some really cool innovative things that we will be able to show folks on that. But if you want to go long range cruising, you know, at, at lower speeds, the boat can do it. But if you want to do 27 knots, 30 miles an hour, the boat can do it with the optional uh, 1000 horsepower Volvo Penta. Um, straight shaft engine. The aft area of the Kilo 70 is something that's going to be just absolutely superb area to hang, a, hang around on. When you see boats at, at anchor, that's where people like to hang around, is actually on these seats. So if you've got the kids swimming out the back, you know, mum and dad can also sit over there and actually on comfortable seats. In order to keep performance levels up in that, we have integrated a lot of carbon fiber in the boat. We have our two main structural bulkheads are 100% carbon fiber and then we have a lot of other, all of the other bulkheads are reinforced with carbon fiber as well. So that's one aspect of what we do from a quality point of view. As far as the um, the lamination process at Sina Eagle of, of all the Aquila boats is that it, it's incredibly environmentally conscious. Um, everything is closed molded. We have no styrene escaping or anything like that. So we do vinyl ester, resin infused on the large components. We've done a lot of work on aesthetics with its exterior or interior. And this is what's really going to be um, astounding for everybody that sees this boat is that it really has gorgeous lines everything is super balanced large windows in it and then when you come into the interior all the materials we'll be using engineered stone we're using all really high-tech products which actually have we have to focus on weight as well from a performance point of view the really exciting part of the Aquila 70 for me is that it's really taking what I believe is power catamarans into a more of a yacht type scenario where you can sit at the at the dock and look and say wow those are cool lines you know I really am so proud to own that boat and I think that is where we differentiate ourselves clearly is from the majority of our competition and that goes throughout Aquila is our aesthetics and our performance and particularly in open water performance.